shit, my hair. Ah, hair! Hi. So, this is me. This is my face. This is T Boy Gamer, right here in Japan. And this is my kitchen. Woo! You may have seen this before when I did a tour video. Like, God knows how long ago. But what I'm going to do today, I'm very different because I've been tired at work and I have had like zero time to play video games. We are going to make. I don't even have. A, oh, I do have a packet. We're going to make Japanese curry and rice, which is pretty simple, but when your kitchen is this big, yeah, a bit more of a challenge. So actually, before we even touch this stuff, which I'm going to put up there, we need rice. Now, I buy rice in like big bags, and I fill up this. So this is kind of, when this is more like here, this is how much rice I tend to go through in, what's it been, two, three weeks? That's how much rice I eat, because I eat rice almost every day, depends on what, happen, what happens with work and stuff. So what we do, or what I do, this is a wonderful thing, it's a cup, and it has lines to tell you how much rice. Now I actually only eat half a cup of rice at a meal but it, the rice cooker is quite big so I have to cook at least one cup of rice so what we do is we shove our hands in there and we get a cup of rice and into the pot it goes I am just going to return this pot to its this pot not the rice pot this pot over here where it belongs and our next step is, you can maybe see, wait, where are we? There. There are lines on the inside, and that's actually telling you how much water. So, I will circle the one that's how much water for white rice. There's actually other kinds for sushi rice and stuff, but, eh. So what we do, is before we even can cook the rice, we have to wash the rice, which is a step that isn't really done in the UK and stuff. So we get our water and we literally hand in. That's a great sound to have in a YouTube video. We mix and mix and mix. And the water goes very, oh, you can't see. Very cloud. No, you can't see that at all. Whoa, it's not drop the phone. It's all this starch. You also just saw my sink. <laughs> Let's put that back in its little standy thing. I don't actually have a tripod for my phone, but there we go. So it's, I'll show you what it's standing on later, it's wonderful. So we have to do this like three times-ish, I think is the recommended. I think realistically it's until the water does not go cloudy, but that's a uh, mental set. <laughs> So I'm just going to be here and do this. The light keeps changing because of... I wonder if it's going to be better if I turn this one off as well. Because my lights are not very good in here. So I'm just going to keep polishing my rice because this is the thing I have to do. Be with you in a second. Water's looking pretty clean. So what we have to do now is actually fill it up with enough water so that the rice will cook properly. So I think I showed you earlier that it's got little lines up the side. So I'm just gonna use another cup because it's too annoying to do this over the uh, sink and fill it roughly to the line. I'm going to try and show you again. Let's go in the pot. Can I see it? Or is it too dark? There we go. So, beep, fill it up to the one line. And then we do the easiest thing in this whole situation is we put this in a rice cooker and press on. 
that's pretty much what happens. So I'm going to put this in and then show you my rice cooker. Yay. So this is my baby. Nip, dip, dip, dip down. There. So it's quite easy. We shut that. Then all along here is the different settings. So this is white rice. This is the one we're going to use now. And it's literally just... The rice is now cooking. Everything sings in Japan. Everything sings. Okay. So, are we good? Yes. So next up, we're going to start on the curry sauce. Now this usually takes the rice about... 45, 50 minutes to cook, which seems like a really long time, but I don't got to do nothing to that. When I cook it in a saucepan, got to keep stirring, got to keep stirring, because otherwise the rice will burn the bottom of the pan. So, I got my pan, saucepan thing, which is the lid sturdy. Don't need the lid yet. So, there's, that's going to go on there. I should add water. We need some water. Deep, deep, deep. So do that. And I'm going to get that heating up. Yay, gas burners. Oh, that would help if the flank. There we go. So, next up, jumping board. And the staples for Japanese curry and rice are onion, potato, this is a potato, I know it's very small, but this is a potato, and carrots. Now, my potato is sprouting. I only have one potato, which is fine. I'm going to put another vegetable in to... Um, sort out everything, but we're going to put that there for a second. It's time to do some slicing and dicing. Now, hang on. If I do it here, you can't see me. So I am going to get my wonderful green contraption, which goes over my sink and gives me more space because otherwise this, this is the space I have to work with, the space the size of a singular chopping board. And I get more space. So we're just going to, is that good enough? Yeah, that works. You can see kind of what I'm doing. So I got my bag of onion. It's gonna top it off. It's skinnier. Ooh, okay. I got a slightly funky onion that I'm gonna deal with. Just gotta get rid of the nicky bits. Dip, dip, dip. Go, onion, be gone. So, let's get rid of that bit as well. Okay. Eh, there we go. <laughs> Easy. Now, they tend to cut it quite chunky in Japan. I go for slightly smaller cuts. But, eh, whatever size. Eh, don't go under the thing. Whatever size you're comfortable with. I used to chop it a lot finer. My water is boiling. So, yeah, whatever sizes you're comfortable with is best. But I'm just gonna choppy chop. Choppy chop chop. My eyes may start watering at some point during this, but we shall persevere. I'm really weak to like onions and shit. But, eh, that's, that's me. I'm the useless teapot. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that at all. Let's get rid of this stuff. Oh my god, my eyes are stinging already. Oh, it burns. It burns. Why am I so weak to onions? Oh, just me now. Now, the first time I did this back home with one of my UK friends, they were like, why didn't you burn the onions? I was like, because they don't need to be browned. So next, potato. I'm going to wash it quickly. Because it's been in my fridge for a while. And we're just gonna slice it up real quick. 
Now I like to keep my potato skins because potato skins are like amazing. So full of good stuff. My eyes burn. Oh my gosh. So that's that. Yep. We're just going to shove that in the pot. Next up, we're going to do some carrots. Now I really like carrots in my curry. And I'm just gonna, one, two, mm, I don't know. We'll see. See how we get on. But I, I'll do that in a minute. We're just going to very loosely chop up a carrot. Dip, dip, dip. I'm terrible at chopping, by the way. My, my idea is, ah, let's have it all be hodgepodged. And then it's not going to matter. It can be whatever size it so chooses, whatever thickness, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to eat it. So it's not like it being misshapen is going to... That was a wonky one. But I'm not going to not eat it because it's misshapen. I bought these vegetables. So I have. It, make, it makes flour. It makes flour, see? So we're going to pick. I don't want to lose too much carrot. Nope. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So we do that. And we get a little flower carrot. I'm not going to do this to all of them, but I find they're really nice little. Nice things to find in your curry. And um, they've done this at school sometimes. And then it's, oh, the kids who find these get like a certificate or something. Oh, carrots. Um, I should probably stop recording in a minute. I'm nearly done. I just want to get vegetables done. And do one more. There's another one. Let's do one more. Last one. So then I have four. Even numbers, even though four is a... Unlucky number in Japan, I don't care. I'm gonna chop that away. I could just chop that up and put it in, but eh. So this is all gonna go in my pot too. I should have some more water in there. Those are way too big. I should cut those in half. Come back, carrot. Let me chop you. Let me chop you. Hey. Hey. Ah! There we go. And kapushk. So carrots go in the pot. Am I still okay? Yes, I'm still okay. A little bit more water, I think. Because we need to cover the vegetables and give them space to move. A little bit more. What can I smell? That does not smell good. Oh, it's because I sort of cleaned the stove top earlier. Okay, so the other thing I really like to put in curry is this. It's called daikon. It's a white radish. It tastes of nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Uh, it's a really good, like, um, filler vegetable in Japan. It's really cheap. This cost me 100 yen-ish, give or take. Which is, what, a dollar? A pound? A thing. <laughs> I like to take a nice chunk. Because it's just going to take on the flavour of the um, curry, really. And it's just going to add texture. We do have to peel this. I am too lazy to actually peel it, so I'm just going to attack it with a knife and make it square. Like, angular, all around, because I'm lazy. I'm a lazy fuck. Just cooking in. This is like, as well, um, when the students go on their camping trips with school, and they stay overnight somewhere, this is what they will cook. They will make the kids cook curry and rice in its most basic form. Because everyone eats curry and rice. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to chop it this away and go this away. You can't see what I'm doing. Cut it into quarters and then a slice. You want these a bit thinner because otherwise they're not going to cook through and uncooked daikon is ugh sometimes if you've got too much of it. It can be nice. I've used it before as a, um, like, for dipping. So like, you know when you get carrot sticks and cucumber sticks, and a sauce to dip. I will I will do that sometimes if I'm feeling fancy pants. But I'm not fancy pants. As you can tell by my kitchen. So we have more vegetables. Yay! In the pot it goes. That's looking more respectable. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna show you pick this up. 
So this is kind of what it looks like right now. Yeah, all those veggies. So we're going to turn the heat up now, everything's in there. And give it... 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I think is what the box says. 10 minutes to cook. Then we'll add the curry rocks in. Then we just wait for everything to be done. So, I'll be back. We're back. So, the things had 10 minutes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some curry rocks. So, we literally, we have four of these and we're going to put all four in the saucepan. So I like to um, cut them up a little bit. So, we're going to angle back down. Whoop, doop, doop. Kind of see what I'm gonna work on this one quickly. Plates, you're in the way. Jam up. So you think it's got four anyway, so we're gonna just boop, boop, and then just eh, eh. Ah. I mean, they're quite soft. I often keep this stuff in the fridge during the summer. And we're literally just gonna eh, 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 eh. chuck it in our saucepan. Then we take a wooden spoon, we move the camera so people can see what's going on, and a stir, stir, stir. Now this, I now pretty much just leave and come back every couple of minutes. Look at it, it's taking on the colour. I leave, come back in like, time. Let it turn that up a little bit. I leave and uh, I've said that like, Bajillion times, I leave, I leave, I just leave all the time. Um, turn the heat up, come back every five, ten minutes, give it another poke. It's basically now, I let this cook until the rice is done. Which sometimes means my vegetables go a bit soft. But that's fine, we can deal with that. So, oh yeah, I was going to show you the thing I had my phone resting in before. So I made... This! Because I'm too cheap to buy a tripod. Well, I want to buy a tripod, I just don't have the money for a tripod. So here's a Coke bottle, not sponsored by Coke. Because who would. Okay, never mind. And uh, it's the top of like an aerosol can that I've cut a hole in and just shoved on the top of a Coke bottle. And it's just sitting on the thing. So we're gonna let our curry cook a little bit. I do have some chicken. Um, a bit oh well that's interesting guess what I've just seen out of the corner of my eye da, 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 da. nine minutes my rice cooker when it gets to the last ten minutes will actually tell me the countdown the last ten minutes so in, it's gonna make noise in like nine minutes so we actually want this to cook a little bit faster I usually have more time for this maybe it's because I've been recording I don't know, but we're going to turn it up and keep stirring. <laughs> so I will be back when the rice is done. And I may, I've got some chicken pre-cooked, left over from the other day, that I might just chuck in this. Or I might just put it on top when I'm done. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Okay, I'll be back when there's actual curry and rice that's cooked and done. And the rice is done. So, some Japanese rice cookers, you need one of these things. The rice spatula doable. So, because you can't just like scoop it out, it's a sticky rice. So we gotta wet the spatula. And I don't know how to do this, because I don't know where to put in the standy thing and I'm gonna be in the way. Let's eat, eat. there's the rice cooker. Yep. Yeah. So we gotta we go in, woo, so much steam. Give it a bit of a poke first, and then just eh. I'm going to take about half of what I put in here. Just about that much. And then I'm going to. The great thing is, is I can now leave the rest of that rice in there until I want it on a warm setting. And it will just be fine. It will just be wonderful. So we have. A bowl, half a bowl of rice. Who I'm gonna do now? I'm just gonna put that in the sink. I get a ladle. Turn this off. That's pretty much done. 
and just ladle it up. Ah. Come here. I mean, I had this going at probably a higher temperature than I would normally to get it done. I mean, the skins are starting to peel away from the potatoes, which to me says it's done. Because I chopped them up quite a small. And we're just gonna bloop. I got one pretty carrot in there. I did also add some um, pre-cooked chicken to all of this. So Yeah, my carrot's gone. I'll put another one in. Chew on top. A bit more sauce. Maybe not sauce, but... Cool. So. It's a bit messy. But. There is a bowl of Japanese curry and rice. And the last thing that I like to do sometimes to get some extra protein is... Please don't fall over when I open and close my fridge. Cheese. Bad Japanese cheese. Like, this is not good. This is like... Mixed cheese. I think they like to call it melting cheese in Japan. Um, you can see it on the picture that they put it on curry. So I just take a handful of this stuff and dump it over the top of the bit that's got that's probably too much, so I'm just gonna eat some cheese. Mmm. It tastes like late night takeaway pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. We'll do one more little splish for you. And it's splished. There. Ta-da! Japanese curry and rice, and I'm just gonna eat that bit of cheese. So, oh, this has been Tipper Gamer in a Japanese kitchen making Japanese curry and rice. I don't know if I can do this again. <laughs> this was just maybe a one-off. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, bye.